Hey guys, this is SH, and today we are playing Terraria, a 2D free roam exploration adventure game that came out today. It's brought to you by indie developers Andrew Spinks, Jeremy Garrett, and Finn Bryce. And it's $10 on Steam, I believe? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. This game features massive amounts of content. It has lots of collective, collectible items. It has lots of NPCs where you can buy and sell things. It has drop-in, drop-out multiplayer. You can host your single-player servers. Like the game that you play on single-player, you can host that multiplayer so people can come into your single-player game. And then you have uh, player versus player if you want it. It has scripted events and boss monsters and just all this stuff. There's a lot of content. Uh, so what we're going to do is I already made a character and I actually did make a little, or I did play a little bit so I didn't know that, all right, so I wasn't like a complete idiot when the game started and just like had to figure like the stupid really easy stuff out. But I did make a large world too so you can create worlds and you can have small, medium, or large. So I went for large because why not? Also, if I decide to host this for other people to come in later on, then uh, it would be bigger. So there's a lot more resources for everyone to like have fun with and all that kind of stuff. Now, I haven't actually been inside this world either. So it's going to be interesting to see what the world is because I haven't seen it at all. And if it sucks, I might just like change it too. <laughs> I don't know. But we'll see. I'm kind of hoping for like a foresty starting area. If I'm like on sand or anything like that, I might just stop and then, uh, you know, figure that out <laughs> and then just like come back. All right, guys, we are inside the world now. This world looks way promising. I really like the whole forest look and everything like that. So let's get going. One of the first things that you're going to need is wood and lots of it. So let's keep getting some of this lots of it because you're gonna need to build a shelter the first day and that's right oh god we got slimes slimes get out of here get out of here yeah oh crap yes all right so slimes can drop slime gel which you need for torches and all that kind of stuff. And actually, this this starting area right here looks really good for our first shelter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna like keep getting clearing out this area, this immediate area, and use the wood that we get from all this crap to actually build our first shelter. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It just basically has to have like an area where you can be inside, because at night different enemies will spawn and they'll be stronger so you gotta be able to protect yourself from those guys yeah take it slime you got nothing I was hoping for some really tall trees but this looks this looks pretty good so we're just gonna have to cut down more trees then we might have if we found I guess we could like look around and actually see if there's a lot of taller trees oh here we go this is way better there's also some copper under there too so I mean basically all you're doing is for the first day you are just collecting as many resources as you possibly can for the first night because after you hit the first night you're gonna be pretty much just building all the stuff for your second day. Oh, I didn't get that stump. Can't pickaxe it. This is like a noob trap right here, man. Oh, the guide's down there. <laughs> Look at that crap. The guide's just there to help new people, really. But I, I know what I'm doing, at least for the very beginning. I did play a little bit previously, and just just so I didn't look like a total fool pretty much <laughs> but we're gonna I mean like there's there's tons of stuff that I still have to learn about the game I just wanted to know what to do in the very beginning so that I wouldn't waste waste time really and so that was more entertaining for you guys to watch so let's let's get this slime 
Yeah. Now it looks like the spawn rates for gel and stuff like that went up because I have 15 gels already and I don't recall it ever being that high because I did watch like a few episodes of the developers let's play so that I would know a little bit about the game and I don't recall them spawning that frequently or not the monster spawning the, the items drops that frequently maybe I'm just getting really lucky though so who knows who knows? The developer knows, that's who. There we go. Got out of there. We're gonna get some of this stone too. There's also iron down here. But that might be pushing it. Because we gotta get as much of the beginner stuff as possible. And iron isn't really a beginner thing. But it's definitely worth having. Aw oh man. Aw oh man. Actually, we could probably start building at least like where the house is going to go like right now. So let's see, let's get this out of there. Yeah, you can't get over that. <laughs> Owned. Oh god, he got over it! <laughs> oh no! It's not tall enough. Can I draw that high? Or... Yeah, okay, that's why. Because they can jump one higher than you might think. Let's see. Let's get up here. And go one higher so that our floor is, our, is, our, is really good. Let's see. So, yeah, all I'm doing right now is holding down the button. And I can just scroll through my toolbar and I can use 1 through 9. And so it's really simple. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's do that. Then fill this in the same way. So yeah, let me talk about the direction I kind of want this LP to go. So, oh wait, well first of all, let's make a workbench so I can build stuff while, you got, while I'm talking about the direction I want the LP to go. What I, where I want to take this is I want to have both a single player and a multiplayer aspect to this game because I just think it'd be way more fun that way because they're gonna there's lots of player versus player stuff available and all that kind of stuff but I don't know how I'm gonna how it's gonna work completely yet but I do know that I am down 100% for it so there we go we're gonna put some torches up so that it's lit at night we need we need a door and chair and a table. So the only way to get NPCs to come into your world, or new NPCs anyway, is to have a place for them to live. And they only, the only way that happens is if you actually have like a table and chair for them. So every room has to have a table and chair if you want a new NPC to come. At least that's how it works right now. So let's see, put down a table. Oh man, I should take out at least this. Let's get this. This is gonna bug me. It has to be the same. <laughs> ah, my work badge. <laughs> I'll put you back down, I swear. Just a really small starting shelter. For the win. Let's see. There, 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 there. And workbench back down. Let's just do it right there. Now let's see. What do I need to do still? Oh right, we need to fill in the back, but it's still we still got a little bit of daylight, so let's go back out. And see if we can't find anything. Oh wait, that way's the water trap thing that we found. Let's go the other direction, which means we need another door. <laughs> and we're gonna put that on this side. Oops, there. The slime's running away. There we go. For now. Now 
Let's get the shrooms and see what's over here. Got some copper. Gonna get like as much of these mushrooms as possible. You can use mushrooms to recover health, which I should do right now because I'm low. Oops. It'll just go in my bar anyway. Let's see. There we go. Die. So now I have this sword, I do 6 damage to these guys. So that's significantly more than I was before. So that's good. Ooh, a blue one! Yeah, you. Get out! Run! <laughs> so basically, all we're doing is just collecting as much resources as we possibly can while we still can. Because the first night, I'm probably not going to have enough resources to really go anywhere. And that's probably where I'm going to end the LP for this episode anyway. Let's see. Let's get some more wood out of these taller trees. I could also plant trees still, so I can just go like this, and there. New tree. We'll eventually spawn there. Ah. Get out, get out, yeah. So if I actually chop down wood at like a different length, like I'll show you right here, like if I chopped it right here, it would actually cut it right there. Or a little bit below it. So I actually, if you just, if you just do it at the stump, then you'll get all the wood from the entire tree. And I could just replant it, because I like to be eco-friendly. Let's see. That's more. Just get lots of trees. Because we like lots of trees. I'm going to fill in anomaly holes that I made. Because <laughs> I hate just little stuff like that that just stops you. Let's see. That's going to be doing there. Yeah! Let's see, where do we want to go? We can fill in... Should probably hold a tor torch out for you guys. Yeah, see, I gotta be careful here if I want to jump over that. Which, I'm not, I mean, like, I gotta get all this stuff ready for the, the night before we do stuff like that. We could just grab some more of this stone. Let's put out the torch. Yeah! Once the music cue changes, we're gonna rush back to my house, though. Alright, we got enough stone now. I'm gonna fill this in. Oh no! Oh, there goes the music. So, now we know for sure it's night. Which means different enemies, harder enemies. So let's get inside. Okay, so now we got some building to do. Let's see what's up. We can build... Oh, sweet. We can build arrows and a bow. Ooh, okay, we need a furnace, though. We... So that's 20 stone block, 4 wood, and 3 torches. So let's do that. Just place it right there. That sounds good. Now what can we do? We can make all those copper bars that we had from before. And we don't need a hammer yet. Let's see. We need some wood wall. Because we need to fill in the, the rest of the, the wall here. Without um without wall on your on your house, enemies could spawn inside your house if if you're away from the house. I don't think they spawn directly in if you're in the immediate area. I'm pretty sure enemies only spawn off screen. So, that's just good to know, I think. Let's fill this in. Yeah! <laughs> now, obviously, we're just having simple stuff right now because it's the very first day. 
but hopefully we're gonna have some super elaborate stuff. If you have got if you guys have any ideas that you want to see done or anything like that, you can just leave them down below. Cause I read all my comments and respond to any questions that are worth answering. So let's see. We got 28 gels from killing all those slimes today. That is a lot. And just one more. Let's make a bunch of torches. So that we don't have to worry about it. 43. There we go. Let's. We got 58 torches now. What else can we do tonight? We got. I made some platforms. Uh, sign. Got the hammer. Might as well just make the hammer. Move all this stuff over. And then. We can make a bow, I guess. For later, but. I don't know. I think that's pretty much all we're gonna do. To kill this zombie. Oh, there's two of them! I did not know that! Uh. Yeah. They were knocking on my door for far too long. Alright guys, that's actually where I'm gonna end the episode. So I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed watching it and learned a little bit. So yeah, this is Terraria. If you want to see more Terraria, press the thumbs up button or leave a comment down below. Uh, yeah, take it easy.